Yo, yo, what it do, what it do? What's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. Guys, this time we're going to be pouring these two together right here. The Grills Garage Best of Show Paste Wax versus the Turtle Wax Carnuba Wax. All right, Turtle Wax Carnuba. Best of Show Carnuba. All right. As you can see here, I got both of them applied here on the panel. And I'm kind of just letting them cure out. And um, see which one is better. We know how we do. Now you're talking $25 versus $5. So you're talking a $20 difference between the two waxes. Both of them come with an applicator pad. Okay. Griots come with a good quality applicator pad, I would say. Turtle wax is average. But, you know, you get what you pay for. Like I said, $5 wax versus a $25 wax. So you're talking a $20 price difference. Okay? So I'll take you guys in on the panel here. You can see here, minus the little nicks and dings that you might run into. But you can see... I got a wax applied already, curing out. So I can go ahead on and take it off for you guys. This is just an old nick. This is an old nick coming from maybe probably somewhere in the 90s or early 2000s, something like that. All right. So what we're going to do, I would say the grill has been up there longer, so it's cured out. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to buff off the Griots. Griots towers here. Turtle wax towers here. Okay. So let's get the step. Here we go, guys. Take off the Griots garage first. Now, like I said, it's been up here longer. Had more time to cure. It's exciting to test these products out, guys, to see which one really is better, you know? Because, you know, you're talking $20 difference in the price of these products. One twenty, twenty-five, the other five. I mean, you'd be like, well, duh. You know, can I really get good quality out of $5 wax? You know, yeah, you can. Don't believe all the hype sometimes. <laughs> We're just going to do one coat of each wax. Uh, okay. And uh, it's all off. Just make sure it's off before I hit it again. Okay. Yeah, it's all. Come off like soap. All right. So now, what I'm going to do is. It's just that turtle wax. Let's see, is it really hard enough? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So it's dried up, see there? Oh, yeah. Let's pop that back off. It's definitely dry. Okay. Don't know who's going to win the battle of this. <laughs> but, but you got to consider the price, though, of what you get. Okay. Got to consider the price. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I could hit it again. Give it a second coat. But it'll take too long to dry up. You know. Okay. That's all well. Looks good. From both waxes. <laughs> Shine and dip. It's really. Look at this uh, front part of the hood. Where we work at all the time guys. Can you see this? That looks amazing. Look at her. 
This little, this is just where we work at all the time. This area of this hood. What is that amazing? Look at the dip. It's hard to beat that part of that hood. It's been worked on so long, so much. <laughs> okay, so I had to move to a new part. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, I think we'll let it ride with one coat. Being it might take too long, you know. It'll take too long for the actually, uh, you know what I'm saying, wait for these to cure, I would say. Okay. Right. So what we're gonna do? Uh, see, we'll get into the water testing. Okay. Let's start off with the turtle wax. Here we go. That's beating good. It's all the water you need. You see the turtle wax. Remember now, this is five dollars wax. Only five bucks. First coat. Okay, let's get over here to the grill's garage. Nope. All the water we need. We don't need to spray a whole water hose out. Okay, now from the testing, the beating action from the two is similar. Let's turn the wax side. Here's grill's side. Now from the head, look at that. Now you guys see it. From the two, the beading, the tightness, the unit, the formation of these beads. I would say they're about the same, guys. The beading here, y'all see it. That's the gray old side. They're about the same, man. There's no difference here, Holly. Okay, come over here to the turtle wax side. It's no difference in the beating. Both of them are carnival waxes, and you see it. Right there, fair and square. So y'all know, y'all know who the winner is, right? <laughs> so this proves, you know, once again, this proves that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get quality products. $5 versus $25. All right, and plus the turtle wax is a, a, a 14 ounce versus a 9.5 ounce in grills. They give you more wax. The product is just as good. The beating action of the two is the same. Turtle wax is really beating its tail off. See there? That's the grills. And can't nobody say nothing odd. Can't nobody criticize here. I'll give it to you fair and square on the panel, right directly under the light. See, right directly under the light. And for the price of $25, the Griots is a good one, but Turtle Wax just beat it out. Just got to keep it real. Turtle Wax $5 versus Griots $25. You say you 20 bucks. By just getting turtle wax, you know, and you'll be beating just as good, beating the same, rather. See you? You're beating the same as this, or better one. See you? Turtle wax side, look at her. Turtle wax beating B. Look at so you see it right there, fair and square. Um, so the winner here is Turtle Wax, Carnuba Wax. Um, for the price of $5, <laughs> I mean, it just beats Griots off the map. Y'all see, it just beats it off the map. You see it. <laughs> I got to see it one more time, guys. For the price of $5, beating out this $25 Griots Pace Wax. Once again, this goes to show 
And price doesn't make that much of a difference, dude, when it comes to detailing products. Name and price, all that good stuff, guys. I could prove it right out to you. It didn't make it a bit better than this turtle wax, carnauba wax. Just because it was $25, that's you losing your money. Could have did the same job with turtle wax. See here? See that? That's the green old side. Here's the turtle wax side. Did basically the same job with a five dollars wax, guys. <laughs> you learn something new every day, then. So, before you guys go out there and spend all your money on that high end stuff out there. Y'all need to look back at some of these videos and say, I told you so. Just because you, pay, you spend $30, $40 on these waxes, sealants, spray waxes, or whatever the case might be, doesn't mean it's going to be better than a $5 turtle wax. It just means you paying more money for it. All right, so turtle wax is the winner, $5 versus $25, guys. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And yeah, guys, I'm trying to tell you, man, um, y'all don't get caught up in the hype about some of these products. Forget what you might heard. People think they know it all. They tell you this, that, this, that, and the third on some of these channels. Trying to boost some of these companies and people boosting you about microfiber cloths and all that kind of stuff. Don't buy into all that crap, man. I'm telling you, this $5 wax right here by Turtle Wax proves it. That you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get a good quality wax. To do the same thing as a $25 wax. Or a $100 wax probably. Alright. Guys, hope you learned something. Y'all take care, man. I'm going to hit y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.